name is Neely Crombie. I am a real estate agent with Cry Like Realtors here in Mount Juliet and I am sponsoring a community website called parkbench.com. I am out in the community. I am meeting local business owners and community members and today I am here with the lovely Carissa Barra. Hi. Hi. <laughs> and um, she is the owner of Bella wigs in boutique I have to make sure I got that I got that right <laughs> did great okay and um, we're gonna find out a little bit about um, her herself but mainly we are gonna get some insight on this lovely shop of hers and um, just find out you know how it serves the community of Mount Juliet um, so tell me Carissa um, just you know describe your business to me tell me a little bit about what makes it unique and special? Sure, so we're actually a family-based business. Um, we um, have been around for about actually 50 years. My husband and I opened up our lo own location here in Mount Juliet almost nine years ago and um, we were one of the first boutiques really to open up in Mount Juliet be a family small base business here. So we're happy to be here. We're happy to offer wigs in the community for people that are going through chemo, alopecia, just general hair loss. Um, so we have people that come from out of state and come mm -hmm. and visit oh, and see wow. us. Yes. Wow. And people that will drive an hour away from Tennessee to come and see us. Wow. So, wow. Yes. Wow. That's, that's really, yes. She has a, um, and, and I'll get pictures of it later and, and show everyone, but she has this huge room of these gorgeous wigs and um, I've been in Thank here. <laughs> yeah, they are, they're beautiful. And I mean, she actually has a, a there's a beauty shop in the back and um, maybe at a different day, we'll get to go back and explore that part of the, um, it's, it's a little bit of a separate business, but we'll get a chance to, um, you know, maybe talk with the lady that does hair. Tell me a little bit about the, um, you know about the clothing side of things and the and yeah. all the fashion that you have so here. So we opened up originally as a wig and hairpiece type of business, mm -hmm. but we always kept boutique in our name so that we could eventually expand. Mm -hmm. So we eventually started doing our clothing line probably about four or five years ago. Um, it's worked really well with our wigs and customers that come in for wigs because sometimes it deflects from them going through chemo and those type yeah. of things so that they can shop and um, so it's a great experience for them. She has um, and you can see a little bit back here in the background but she has really unique stuff stuff that you can't you can't walk into a a, a regular anchor store at a mall and find there it's beautiful stuff so it's definitely worth coming to check it out what was it like when you first got started as a business owner wow. so really interesting so i think providence had just recently you know started opening up some of their anchor stores and stuff like that um but as far as north end of mount juliet there wasn't too much happening just yet yeah. so we were here right when they were starting to widen the road and everything so we had to go through those hurdles of surviving through all that too so that was oh quite challenging gosh. yes yes so, i do yes I, I remember all of that it was um yeah it was quite a bit yeah so Carissa, do you have maybe a, um, do you have a customer or an experience that is most memorable? So there was a time um, just recently, as a matter of fact, that we had a customer come in, she was walking around and um, she happened to mention that she grew up in this house. So I got her to give me basically a tour of the home. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and it was just the neatest thing. And I got to hear some history about Mount Juliet. It was just amazing, you oh know? Oh my goodness, she lived so, in this house? Yes. Oh my she goodness. She grew up in here. So, wow. Oh my goodness. Yeah, from like 1945, um, she grew up in this house and she told me about how there was no running water and just oh my how where they eventually added on to the home and stuff like that. It was really neat. Oh, that is, yeah. wow, that is so cool. <laughs> and, you know, and it's funny, I don't meet, I don't meet a ton of people that are born and raised in this area. Right. I mean, it's Nashville, right. you know, we're just, there's lots of transplants. So that in itself, just to meet someone that was born and raised yes. here, period, and especially in this house. So, right. Oh, it that's very cool. Moment. That, that is very, <laughs> that is fantastic. Yeah. Okay. So let me ask you this. What would you say that, you know, your customers love, you know, most about Bella, you know, wigs and boutique? Um, definitely the fact that um, it's nice to be able to come in here, we greet them, we really try and take care of them. Um, if we don't have something here, we definitely try to order mm -hmm. whatever they need um, and just really are there to help them. So what has surprised you most about being a business owner? 
Well, here in Mount Juliet specifically, it's just all the support. I know other local small businesses are really good about referring um, other customers to yes. where they really need stuff if they're looking for something in particular. So there is that sense of support between us all small businesses, which is wonderful. Yeah, that's yeah, it helps tremendously. That's excellent. I know I was in here just the other day and we were talking. I was concerned about something being too short for a specific event. And you suggested I could go somewhere else to yeah. find like a little slip that would, you know, make the dress look longer. Right. So I think that's just, I think that's awesome that yes. everybody supports yes, everybody. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I mean, I think, you know, I'm a local business, um, owner of sort, you yes. know? Um, so we, I, I do feel like we all have to support each other. Right. That's absolutely that's what it's yes. all about. Um, so you live, you live right here in Mount Juliet? Correct, yes. Okay, and so, how long have you lived here? My husband and I moved here about 10 years ago. Okay. Um, so we've really seen this area develop. It's It's been amazing. It's yeah, great okay. to see the growth, you know? Yeah, yeah. This so, side of town yes. has really just become something special. Um, I love the little, you know, and, and I don't know if you can see in this particular shot, but you'll, um, I'm going to have some photos at the end of the video. It, this is an absolutely adorable historic Thank house. Yes. It's so cute. And there's a couple of these like this right here on this particular strip. We're on North Mount Juliet Road. Our little town is divided kind of between yes. the north and the south. So we have yes. all the, we have all the <laughs> new, you know, commerce and all the, you know, new fancy stuff on the south end. But right. here on the north end, it's kind of like our downtown area. And it's, it's a little older and historic right. and it's, um, it's got a lot of character. Yes. This little building has a lot of character and you've done Thank a fantastic you. job decorating it. Thanks. It's, <laughs> it's set up, it's set up so, so well. Um, so where are you originally from? I'm originally from Birmingham. My husband's from California. Okay. Um, we actually met on the plane. I was a passenger while he was a flight attendant. Oh my goodness! And, <laughs> so we actually had an overnight here okay. um, uh, in Nashville. Okay. And uh, I told my husband I would love to move here. And so he actually found Mount Juliet. And it's Just, been oh such a God. blessing being here. Oh, that's, yes. so you're from Birmingham, Alabama? Mm -hmm. That's so funny. I am from Montgomery, Alabama. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I um, I've had family throughout the years in Birmingham. I don't think I have anybody at the moment, but I have friends there. Yes. And then I lived in Huntsville. Um, oh wow! For Great a time area too. A time too. Yes. I know. Um, that's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> so um, for for those who are watching, we um, we don't know each other very well. Um, you know, I've right. been in the, I've been in the shop a. a tons of times I own lots of clothes um, from the shop um, but I've never actually had a chance to really get to know Carissa and that's what you know and that's what we're doing today well Carissa thank you so much oh, for welcome. taking the time thank to talk you. with me and I'm gonna definitely get some great photos around the shop so everybody okay. can see um, what it's really all about and hopefully everyone will come out and visit and do you have um, so do you have like a Facebook or an Instagram yes. that people can follow so they can see we what's do. new? Thank you. So um, so for Facebook, it's Bella uh, Boutique um, of Nashville. And then uh, for our Instagram, it would be Bella Boutique underscore MJ underscore XO. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that way you can, you know, see what's coming up because we're getting into spring. So I know you have, yes. you already have new stuff. Like yes. I walked in the door <laughs> this morning, like I saw through the window. I was like, oh, what is that shirt that she has? It's brand new. So yes. yeah. So she's already got new stuff. And um, yeah, if you're in need of, you know, a wig for any reason, this is, there are not many places that offer that, that sort of true. thing. Yes. And so this is a blessing that, that this is available. So um, I just want to introduce this beautiful shop and Miss Carissa to the community. Thank and you. I hope that y'all have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much.